welcome. My name is Diana Waring, and I'm glad you're here. I'd like to talk with you today about a topic that packs a lot of punch for homeschoolers, taking a break. We've taken on the huge responsibility and demand of teaching our own children, and it's sometimes difficult to get perspective. With all of the external and internal pressures that are weighing on us as homeschool moms, knowing that lots of people are watching and waiting for us to fail, it's so easy to fall into the trap that says, more is better. What that looks like is this. If one grammar curriculum is good, then two or three is that much better. If one music lesson a week produces growth, then two or three will speed the progress. And if nine months of study demonstrates that our kids can learn, then 12 months a year will make them geniuses. But here's the deal. We learn faster, better, and more deeply when we are refreshed, right? You've experienced that in your own life, and it's even more true for your children. It is so important to schedule in schoolless breaks in our homeschool schedule, breaks that are long enough and real enough to actually refresh minds and hearts and bodies. As you know, though, there are different ways to slice this cake. You can take the traditional three months of summer off, planning in lots of opportunities for laughter and fun and relaxation. Or you could take one month off in December, one month off in April, and one month off in August. Or you could do school six weeks on and two weeks off throughout the year. Or lots of different options. So here's the question I'd like you to ask yourself. What will give your family the best refreshing? re-energizing break? What will keep learning fresh and enjoyable for your kids and for you? As part of this, ask yourself, what kind of breaks would allow us to bring in merriment and fun? Laughter and fun is critically important if we truly want to be refreshed. And then consider what kind of time off would give you and your kids enough leisure, enough downtime, that it really feels like a break. If it's not long enough to feel like you've really rested and recovered and refreshed, you need to take a longer break. If I can add one more word of advice, invite your kids into the discussion. If they take ownership, for instance, of the one month off in every four, it will give them the ability to handle other people's queries about schooling in July, especially if they get to do something in April that non-homeschoolers can only dream about. Whatever you do, take a luxuriously long break and enjoy it. See you next time.